all you cool cats, this is Mina, and welcome back to another episode of Ultra Despair Girls. Um, it's been a little while since I've recorded. I, I already investigated the, the top floor here, so let's go ahead and go down. I feel like I've already forgotten how to control everything is in this game. this a hospital? I... Uh, who knows? Dark and depressing. Just like me. <laughs> Yeah, right. Whoa. Right? Why didn't you deny it? <gasps> Kamaru is a straight shooter. That means you agree, don't you? Oh, just as I thought. Humans cannot be trusted. Actually, Toko, I think you could probably trust Kamaru because she agrees and just is blunt and honest. Humans? You are having delusions. I prefer to call it imagination. <laughs> Why is this shutter here? We can't even go down. This wasn't here when I was on the roof before. What's going on? You can't open it? It's impossible. There's no power. Then what should we do? Turn on the power? Oh, go down don't emergency worry. There's stairs? a mystical spell that magically opens the door. Let's chant it together. What? Seriously? Of course not. Obviously, we just have to look for the switch and turn on the power. Uh, oh, right. Are those people d dead? Maybe. Okay, we came from up there. Um, there's a little exclamation point on her, and if RPGs have taught me anything over the years, it's that. Exclamation points mean quests. So cruel. Oh! Oh, it's not voiced! Oh, okay, um... He, he's dead, right? Well, obviously! You can't tell just by looking! What are you, dense? What are you doing? Are you an idiot? I'm trying not to look at the body. Oh, that's right. She's afraid of, of seeing blood. I forgot about that. I, I have a fear of blood. I see. Oh, you have a fear of blood. Didn't expect that. What's going on? What? I'm not allowed to have a girly side just because my other personality is a serial killer. Uh, I, I wasn't trying to be insulting. But, but if you're afraid, shouldn't you just stay away from it? I can't keep saying I'm afraid. I need to overcome my flare of blood. After all, you gain meaning in life through personal growth. Um... Th that's a surprising positive outlook. Surprisingly? I thought you said you didn't want to be insulting. But I was just repeating master. This is not funny at all. Uh, I just can't stand it. Just the smell of blood is enough to make me faint. If master wants, I'll give up on that whole personal growth thing. <laughs> okay. I, I can't remember. That's, that's how I shoot. Alright. Oh, you're right there. Okay. The, the power's out. I don't like dark places. Well, I don't that's think I have a power choice. Panel. I wonder if we can do something to turn it on. Oh. Like... Using the move ammo? Okay then, let's go. Uh, um, Toko? About this gun, wouldn't it be better if you used it? I'm allergic to machines. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, well, if you have allergies, then I guess it can't be helped. Okay. Is there anything in this room? Anything? Nothing? It's empty. <gasps> wait, wait, wait! There is something! Something terrible is happening. It didn't take long before I realized it. I understood it when I saw my co-worker on the floor with his eyes ripped out. I understand it when I saw my boss with his intestines in his hands. I realized that this is pure insanity. 
But even though I know this, I still can't convince myself that this is real. It's only been one day. There's no way the world would come to this in just one day. There's no way your friends who were laughing with you just a while ago could be dead like that. What I thought I knew about the world, what I thought was just common knowledge, it's all insanity to me now. Children running around and killing adults. It can't be happening. Oof, that was depressing. Alright. No Monokuma here, but that doesn't mean he can't... Oh, there he is. Ah, it's here! Ah, hurry up and shoot it! Which way to get out of here? Oh, Jesus! Holy right. Christ! Don't do that to me! Don't do that to me. As for which way to leave, well, there's a freaking hole in the ground. There's a door right there. kid before. No, it's probably just another one. Those brats are all wearing helmets like this. Huh? Really? <laughs> but why are they wearing helmets? Because they like being creepy. I, I don't know. These kids only ever talk to each other. Even at a time like this, they're playing around like a bunch of idiots. Just stupid brats. But isn't it dangerous? What if they get attacked by Monokumas? Oh, I doubt they will. I bet with those masks on, they're immune to Monokuma attacks. No, you don't get it. These brats are working with the Monokumas to kill all the adults. They're what? Kids killing adults? It's completely insane. But we can't just attack these brats. It's so frustrating. <laughs> anyway, Toko... What's that box next to that kid? I don't know, but I guess we're going to open it. Maybe it'll be a new gun ammo. Who knows? Maybe you should open it. Time for a tutorial! I'm sure a smart gamer like you already knows, but truth bullets are a limited resource. Okay, so it is limited. But there are exceptions like move. But worrying about exceptions is no way to live. Truth bullets are replenished with item boxes or by picking up the ones dropped by Monokumas. Other than bullets, you might find hearts to heal HP or batteries for Genocide Jack. Resupply yourself skillfully so you don't find yourself full of one item but empty of another. Is that kid giving this to us? Why help us like this? I don't know. My guess is they're carrying out someone's order. <gasps> who, who cares anyway? No point wasting our time worrying about mentally damaged kids. Well, that might be true, but it's fine. Jeez, you're slow. Hurry up already. Stop questioning what the game is telling us to do. Uh, okay. Anything in this room? These rooms can get sneaky with the stuff that's in the rooms. Guess not. Nothing. Well, moving on. They're here again! this room oh, there's something here Billy Milligan Royale high school senior size Suna Kosaka 
has 24 split personalities. After an unexpected turn of events, she obtains 23 new bodies, but there's no need for 24 Saisuna Kosakas. The killing of me against me commences? What? This book isn't even worth throwing into the fire. You think so? Really? I thought it looked pretty good. So vulgar. I'm sure you an idiot like you would enjoy it, but I only acknowledge pure literature. Don't mess with me! Look at this. He's using disassociative in identity disorder as a plot point. The hack. Poking fun at his subject without even considering how they feel. This is not professional. <laughs> I'm sure he's not writing about you specifically. Which reminds me. Oh, and speaking of disassociative, disassoci dissociative. Oh, and speaking of dissociative identities, I wanted to ask you something. Genocide Jack isn't gonna kill me, right? I'm totally safe, right? No, she won't. She has a special thing about killing cute men. When it comes to Monokumas. I think she sees it as breaking them, not really killing them. But... But she threatened me and told me she'd kill me. Maybe it was just a threat, or maybe you're actually a cute guy. I I'm a girl! <laughs> oh? I'm not so sure. You could be lying to me, there's no proof that you're not a guy. Why would I lie like that for no reason? What, do you want me to show you proof that I'm a girl? Are you an idiot? What did you get all serious for? I was kidding! Aww. Well, sorry, we just met, and I'm not used to your brand of humor yet. <laughs> She's like, I'll, I'll show you my panties! I'm like, no, please don't. <laughs> uh, another tragedy, the ride until- Did someone already write an article? Like, didn't this just happen? Rampaging Monokuma robots, reportedly the same kind that were involved in the incident, are running amok through Toa City. The hows and whys are currently unknown. Evidence points to the involvement of the remnants of despair. Toa City is currently in a state of level 5 emergency alert. Evacuation is advised. Whoa. What is this place? I don't know. Aren't we in a hospital? Looks like a playground for those little rats. They set up this stuff in a hospital? I've seen them playing around with that arcade machine before. Arcade machine? Dungamrampa, another tutorial. The arcade machine those kids just left ain't no normal arcade machine. It actually displays the surveillance camera in the next room. The kids use the controls to work the monokumas in that room, just like a video game. Oh, the horror. This is the life of a game brain. Anyways, there's a strategy for rooms with a nearby arcade machine. At first glance, the room next door looks dangerous with all those monokumas around. But if you use a certain route, you can get past without getting caught. Now then, try to shoot move at the arcade machine and check the next door. All I gotta do is shoot the arcade machine, right? There's a lot of them lurking around. Instead of fighting, it might be better to run. Escape without getting caught. So go around that way? Did you figure out the best route for getting past those monokumas? By pressing the L1 button, you can see the arcade machine's video again. This will leave you vulnerable, so be very careful. We've gotta hurry. We don't want to be caught. So just sneak around this way? Will those ones see me? I guess not. Congratulations. I kind of wanted to kill them though for like coins and stuff. Maybe there's something you get for We're doing those. We're finally out, but 
Where are we? What? You don't know? Don't you live in the city? I wouldn't call it living. I was just imprisoned in an apartment the whole time. Imprisoned, huh? That's an interesting backstory. But how did you know I was living in this town? Huh? And while I'm at it, this has been on my mind for a while. You said something when we first met. You said you must be Kamaru Naegi. Toko, how did you know about me? She heard it from Byaki, I guess. D don't get all detective mode on me out of nowhere. You've caught me off guard. Well, I think I deserve to know. It's not some big secret or anything. On the helicopter yeah. <laughs> ride over, Master mentioned you and... Helicopter? You mean Future Foundations? You're a member of Future Foundation? Well, I'm more like an intern. That's why I don't have my own uniform yet. Oh, that's why you aren't in a suit. S such a cheap-ass organization. They could have at least given me a uniform. Ugh. When will I finally get to change out of this old ratty thing? Oh, she's been wearing her school uniform this entire time? You only have that one uniform, huh? Yeah, but I'll endure it for a little bit longer. I made a promise with Master. He said, if I can prove I can control her, I get to be an official member. <laughs> oh god, no. <sighs> Toko, you must never leave my side. Protect me always. That is your purpose. Your destiny. I'm pretty sure he said none of this. But, uh, I'm not an official member. Uh, Enough with the excuses. You are my property. I own you like livestock. I'm pretty sure he never said any of that. I'm your livestock. My pig. Yes, I'm your pig. I don't think he said that. Hey, pig. Repeat the promise you made with me. He might have said that. Uh, uh, oink, oink, oink. In English, fool. He might have said that too. <laughs> I promise to never let Genocide Jack kill another human being. Then I become an official member. I need you. You must never break that promise. Oink! Oink! Oh my god. Ah! Oink! 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 <laughs> you know, it's. She's gross, but. <laughs> if you remove all that drool coming out of her, she's actually got, like, a, a pretty cute, um, design. <laughs> Kamara's like, God. What's with that face? It's like you're looking at a pig. Did I look that weird? Well, you were oinking. No, not at all. You didn't look disgustingly gross <laughs> at all. <laughs> I didn't ask you if it was gross. I just said weird. Oh, uh, sorry. Jeez. Even this immature schoolgirl treats me like an intern. <laughs> And even that occult moron and the swimming idiot bimbo are official members. <gasps> oh. So, like, everyone's part of the F Future Foundation, I'm guessing? Hagakure being a member and Fukawa not being is funny to me. Wow. You sure give your friends nice nicknames. They're not my friends. My whole life I've never had a friend. And now you go making me remember stuff like that. Stop! Rotting my mental wounds, girl! I didn't mean to. Hm. Anyway, who cares about having friends? I have Master Biakia. <laughs> and as long as I have Master, I don't need anything or anyone else. Aw, that's, that's kind of sad because he doesn't really like you. <laughs> I think you need friends. To actually care about someone that much? That's a pretty amazing feeling. But I got separated from my precious master thanks to these damn riots. Now I'm all alone. Of course I did sneak onto the helicopter without master or anyone else knowing. Wait, so 
ever since then you've been alone? Then who told you Byakuya was captured? Hmm? Oh, well, a lot of things happened. A and more importantly, what are you going to do from here on? Me? Well, I guess there's no choice but to escape. I'll be killed if I stay in this town, right? But you... You want to look for Byakuya, right? I know that's what you want, but... But I'm just so scared. I can't help it. I... I feel so afraid. Um... I know you want to escape, but I'm a little alarmed at that wristband that I'm looking at right now. I have a feeling that... Especially because since we're playing this, you aren't going to go very far. That's probably going to alert the Monokumas if you try to, like, leave or something. I feel trapped. No matter what I do, I'll end up getting killed. Plus, I imagine that, like, they can track where you are, probably, with that wristband. And if they can track where you are, they could probably, like, basically set up the places to stall you from leaving or whatever so I have a feeling we we ain't gonna get out of here just like the way you want Kamaru so listen I know this is an unfair request but fine huh? you want me to tag along with you right fine I'll go with you it it's okay Th there's no other choice as a member of future foundation it's my duty to protect you Thank you so much, Toko. Hey, what are you doing? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. From the bottom of my heart, just thank God I met Toko. God, just thank me directly. But uh, are you sure about this? Uh, what about your search for Byakuya? Uh, there's no need for you to worry about that. I've been thinking up a plan. Oh, you're right. An amazing girl like you would have a plan for sure. No point in me worrying. Hmm. But... I'm glad. Ever since I was imprisoned, I've been all alone. I couldn't depend on anyone else. So, I'm really happy you're with me. So, so happy. Y you don't have to repeat yourself. I heard you the first time. Now, do you know a way out? I don't know anything about this city either. I don't know where we should go. You're right. We have to figure out more about this town first. This town is an island off the coast and controlled by a powerful oh. IT corporation. Okay, so we're on an island off the coast. Yeah, so we're kind of like a, maybe like a tiny little island off the coast? There's probably like something that, there, there might be like a, a bridge or something. Because outside of that, we'd have to take either a boat or something that can fly off, oh, off of the island. It's commonly called Toa City. That's right. I heard this town is on an island, which means... Hey, Toko, do you remember seeing a bridge anywhere? There you go. <laughs> a bridge? If I remember correctly, I saw a huge bridge over that way. Perfect. If this town really is an island, we should be able to escape over the bridge. I highly doubt we're going to be able to get to that bridge. Hmm, I guess you're right. Let's go to the bridge. We have to at least try. <gasps> what a relief. I was starting to lose hope. Uh, I see. Good for you. It's time for a tutorial. I'd like to introduce some small necessity skills... Oh, some small necessities. Skills that'll turn the battle in your favor. First, bring up the menu with the options button and switch to the skills screen with L2 and R2 buttons. Choose skills using the directional buttons and attach detach with the X button. S -s Surprise, it appears you already have one skill. Hooray! If you attach the skill, you'll be able to automatically lock onto the target. 
By finding reference books around town, you can get new skills. Don't forget to attach them to turn the tides of war. By the way, attaching skills would require skill points. Skill points increase when Kamaru levels up. Pretty standard stuff. Now then, defeat lots of Monokumas and level up quick. This filthy... What? This filthy, shabby-looking landscape totally unsuitable for a noble like me. I didn't mean to interrupt her. That was my bad. Um... Automatically focuses the laser sight on the closest enemy. I guess it can't hurt to try it. I don't suppose You're going back to the hospital? Is there something wrong with you? Ooh, sick in the head? <laughs> no. I was just trying to see if I could go back and shoot some Monokumas. Oh. Oh, I can switch fast like that. Hard, hit them to mush them and then fill the insides with green peppers and then feed them to your dog. Bury them in a hole so only their nose sticks out. Measure how long it takes for them to die. Make a game with a friend where you snap off their arms and legs and whoever keeps theirs alive longest wins. Get their blood with a needle and put it in a cat and then make a super cat demon and kill it. Get a bunch of demon butts and then make a drum set with them and make a song. Haha. <laughs> Use a demon's mouth as a cage for bugs and find a bunch of bugs and save them and then kill the demon. Or kill the regular simp or kill them regular. Simple is besto, yes? How to kill demons masterpiece number one. What the fudge is wrong with them? Probably go for a bit longer. Because I imagine if I cut out some of this wandering around. Oh. That gaudy looking car. It's made by Toa. C can you move it with the hacking gun? Probably. I was kind of trying to see if there was anything over here. I could have sworn I saw a sparkle. Oh no, it's one of those times where it's like, which way's the right way? Oh wait, no, I can't go this way. There's a hole in the freaking ground. Alright, well. As I thought, Master's gun is perfect. Even idiots can use it. That kid was playing with a body. It's not a rare sight around here. What you got in this? Huh? Oh, some bullets. I can see a bridge over there! Oh, there is a bridge over there. <laughs> what the? Right not to kill. One early morning in August, station staff Tato, who's almost made it to retirement age, is shot through the heart. Around the same time, Shuichi Tato Koro, a train nerd, falls in love. He must solve the mystery of the Tato killing. The third entry of the Honkawa Go series. Only those with the right not to kill have the will to not be killed. What? Did author is some anime nerd, no doubt about it. Hmm? What makes you say that? 
80% of authors who write books with drugs, guns, and high school girls in them are anime nerds. It's a safe bet, like knowing your white shirt is going to be splashed when you eat curry. Um... Yeah, putting aside the curry thing, I'm a high school girl and I have this hacking gun. This is this some anime nerd fantasy? Don't mess with me! Do not associate a gift my master gave you with an anime nerd imagination nonsense. And keep the condes- Keep being condescending and I'll cut you with a kitchen utensil only master chefs have heard of. Stop it! It's even more terrifying not knowing what it could possibly be! But but seriously, I don't know much about guns. I barely even know how to work this thing. You really don't have a sharp memory, do you? It sends program codes in the form of radio waves that hacks the target machine. Yeah, I don't get that at all, but it sounds really cool. Jeez, you didn't get my explanation at all, did you? Which reminds me. But this doesn't work on every machine, right? I wonder why not. Well, I'm just an intern, so I don't really know the details, but I know it's a research project. M maybe it's made so that it doesn't work on machines you don't need to use. Well, that's convenient, but I have learned one thing. What? What's that? This gun works well as well on humans as the ray guns do against Crystal Bowie. Well, that's an out... Oh, wow, now that's an obscure reference. How old did you say you were? Okay. Um. Go this way. Looks like we can climb this if we work together. <laughs> work together? With you? <sighs> Guess we don't have a choice. Do you wash your hands? <laughs> I wash my hands. Okay, hmm. this looks suspicious. Uh oh. Back off. What? That didn't do damage? Oh shoot! No! All right. Are there more? Is that it? Holy smokes, that was easy! Oh my gosh! Wow, that must have looked very pro to anyone who was like... Was like, she said that she was bad at aiming, but she just shot those two monokumas like that. But I'm seriously not very good. That was just dumb luck. Whoa. Wait, wasn't there a wall here before? I'm scared that there's gonna be like a monocoma. There's another just... electric car. Omaru, your turn. Just gonna jump out at nowhere. Jeez, there are roadblocks all over the place. Can't get around easily. Based on where we are, the bridge should be on the opposite side of this hotel. Ew. What should we do? It looks like we can get through right here. Uh, are you telling me we have to walk through this busted up hotel? Oh, this is the worst. Okay, so that's that's definitely the way to continue. So. Highly anticipated body. It's gonna be like health. Oh, max HP. Can't equip it though, I don't have enough points. Mm. 
All right, guess we're going in. Time for a tutorial. This right here is a toy vending machine popular with the kids, the Mono Mono Machine. By shooting move at this machine, you can spin it for free just once. There's nothing scarier than free things. I sure hope nothing bad happens. Items that might be useful in battle will drop, so use it whenever you see one. What happened here? There's like gold paint. Gold yellow paint. Oh, we have to climb up that? Well... Nothing down here, so... All right. Yep. Well, it would be rude not to, I guess. Might as well grab it, right? Ups it easy! <laughs> Creepy kids. Oh, what? I think I've got an idea. Look, if we use this telephone to call the police, won't they come save us? You think the police are gonna save you? Have you not looked outside? The police? That collective of psychos that think all humans are criminals until proven innocent? That's quite a bias. It's a shitty idea. There's no way it'd go through. Telephones, internet, nothing. Huh? Nothing works? If they did, this whole problem would have been solved by now. Jeez, use your brain. You're seriously useless. More useless than... than a salmon that already laid its eggs. <laughs> Aww, you don't have to be so mean about it. keep thinking that I hear, like, the sound of a monokuma, and- oh, I do hear it. I hear it. There it is. Monokuma! That door looks like it could be used. It's a monokuma! Aiming is so finicky. Okay. I have a feeling that I can go into this room. 